You know, a lot's been said and written about the late Gary Speed in, in the last few days. Welsh manager when he took his life in November 2011 at the age of 42. Chris Coleman was not just a close friend, he was a close counsellor of the family. I've, I've got Mark Bowen alongside me tonight, a contemporary of Gary's in the Welsh team. When, when Chris took this job, it was like no other in football, almost impossible in the circumstances. Well, I have to say, Clive, I mean, Gareth Bale, first of all, has become a giant of the game, you know, and the one thing I can say is, you know, with an enormous sense of pride here that, you know, I watched this team through the qualifiers and they were quite quite pragmatic, tight defence and Gareth Bale would go and nick a goal for them perhaps and we'd win the game but this team progressed and it's progressed because you know Chris Coleman has basically showed them that you know if you stand in the shape manhandled and appeals for a penalty Joao Mario is on the ball back in towards Ronaldo again he was looking for an overhead that time and James Chester just saw it out fantastic defending Absolutely fantastic defender James Collins there. Yeah, he put an arm in his shoulder and he leaned on him, but that's what good defenders do. <laughs> Ronaldo, Sean Mario has gone on. It's driven dangerously across the face of goal, always going to elude Nani, but it was a clip. All the back three are in there. Joe Ledley takes, it's clever for Gareth Bale! Portugal didn't read that at all. It was uh, a difficult skill for Bale to execute, but he was free. Yeah, difficult skill because he's at the... He's at... Ronaldo, it is running back with Bale, who finds a cross. And finds the hands of Rui Patricio. Yes, and very interesting because Andy King, was that's his job, that's what he does. He's done so well for his club last day. He finds himself in the box. He's settled into the game well. Bale, it's gone away from Danilo. It's got Robson Cano and King up with him. Gareth Bale may go it alone. Bale shot! Rui Patricio held on well with Robson Cano closing in. That's the threat. That's the threat we've got, Gareth. Robson Cano has his chances here against Bruno Alves. He's found a good cross towards King! Well, he was under pressure from Jose Ford, but he got to the front of the queue for that, and it actually came last off the Southampton man. Nani to Adrian Silva. But again, if Ronaldo. And it's got to him and it's a corner kick. Maybe not for two years, but I'm, I'm absolutely tearing up here, Clay. When you look at the, the defensive qualities they've got, maybe the Welsh team are missing upside, alongside Robson County. Adrian Silva. That's it towards Ronaldo! Well, he was able to get his head to the ball there. Well, back four, back three, dropping in. When he checks back on his right foot here, that's the trigger. They should be moving. Well, Wales has certainly been a match for Portugal in a pretty tactical first half with uh, precious few in front of Collins. Rafael Guerrero with the cross. Ronaldo! Cristiano Ronaldo breaks the deadlock. His 10th goal of the European Championship final. Equals Michel Platini's record for the tournament. And Wales have to come from behind. Stunning header from Ronaldo. Yeah, well worked corner. They got the trigger, the first ball. The first ball, the centre ball in the wide area. That was a trick. Gareth Bale on the ball. In towards the head of Williams. The punch from Rui Patricio. Here away is by Chester. It's as far as Ronaldo. And he feet turned in. time at all in three minutes of the start of this half from Ronaldo and Nani uh, Wales trail by two goals for the first time at the tournament a hopeful shot a miscued shot I thought from Ronaldo maybe we were slow oh, coming back early in towards Sam Vokes took it well on his chest it just wouldn't quite run for him and Here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Just brushed the roof of the net. Oh, too far away. It's amazing with these free kicks, the way they hit them these days. And now Nani. He took a little bit of a deflection. Oh, got away with that. Joao Mario had a clear side of goal as it came off. Wayne Hennessy didn't take his chance. 
to Joao Mario takes it shows a fault Portugal do have the weaponry to counter on Wales Renato Sanchez it's a little wild in two nil up they just got the chances obviously the corner Bale's going to try his luck from range and Rui Patricio had everything behind it well struck Ronaldo. Ronaldo strike. Rushes Neil Taylor and goes behind for a corner. Bale. He's taking a bit of a chance and lost it here to Danilo. Oh, it's a good save by Hennessy. Well, he rode his luck a little bit there, Wade Hennessy, but he just managed to grab it on the line and deny Danilo. Did very well, Wayne. Very well exposed. Bale. And it's from range, Rui Patricio saw that swinging and only just managed to fend it off. Tested the goalkeeper. Church back to Taylor. Yes. Good header away by Bruno Alves. It's as far as Ashley Williams. Oh, it was blocked by Sam Vokes, would you believe? Couldn't get out of the way. Not sure it was goal-bound. No, maybe difficult ball control, but maybe his first touch just took, him, took it away from him a bit too far. Managed to shrug off folks. He's managed to find Cristiano Ronaldo. Side netting. And it's his rush from his line. Did the job. Bale. Ronaldo trying to set up Quaresma. Joel on the slide, free kick. And Allen, who's already been shown a yellow, I think the referee probably aware of that. I thought he was re Allen. It's Portugal that go to Paris. Portugal who will have the chance to win their first major trophy on Sunday at Stade de France. But even if they win that trophy, I doubt they'll go home to a better.